Hi, in the previous video, you learned how to copy the worksheet, right? Select it. Um, in fact, just click on this button, right? It will just copy this to here. But, okay, so now what's the next step is that we're not just interested in copy the worksheet, but to really take that current selected value, right? And the, the, the staff name and then use it as the name for this template but one way is that we can do this copy this go back to the template double click paste it here and after that here in the name here also i want to paste the name so these two step is manual the step of copy the worksheet is automatic right it's already automat automated but there is still another step which we need to work into. So how to do that? Now that's, this is the video about that. So I'm going to go to my code here. Right, so I was like, okay. So I have this sheet here. So I want to take that value, take the active self value right into of temporary variables so I'm just calling it temporary uh, stuff names variables right and I just get the active cells value okay so I have to send this to here because later on I'm I will move to another worksheet as soon as I copy this worksheet right I'm no longer there right so now I need to run this code I can put a dot here, which is to pause it from here. So I click on this button here and I run it. Now I press the F8 key and I hover over here. The stuff name is now Hamia, which is correct. And now, now watch this right after I execute this line by pressing F8 key. I'm now in these active sheets. So if I use active cells dot value, I will get in this value which I cannot name it to this current worksheet. So how can I do that is that I save it into a temporary variables. And then here I will call the active cell active sheet dot name and rename it with the this temporary name here. Right. Take the value in the variables and store it back to the assign it to the name of this worksheet. So I'm just deleting this and I come back here and let's say this is Shukri right? and I run this code. Now watch this, right? So this is um, A15, right? Shukri and then I run the code. So now time stuff, this temporary variables, right? Has now stored a value of Shukri. And now the next step is copying the templates now because it's still within the scope of this procedure so the variables has the name of Shukri so now we can use this assign it as the name of these at the sheet and that is how we make use of the worksheet right you can see that here so the next well the next thing uh, naturally we need to do is to put that name into this cell as well, which is in their hash four. So we want to do that as well, right? So active sheets dot range hash four dot value equals to temp stuff name as well. Okay, so I can delete this code. I'll go over here. And I just run this code. What is that? This is not right. I need to use the that full name here, right? And then I run the code. Okay, it's LMB Baharins and so goes to this, right? So which is the one that I'm selecting? Okay, so what if I want to uh, say I'm selecting here, right? But I still want to get the name from this column A, right? Well, no problem. You can just change it to this range a n 
this one changes to row dot value okay so let's say I'm here right and I actually want to have a shoe crease so I'm just selecting this right because I just don't want to be more specific in that row that that column right I can just go here but I actually want Shahida right so I just run the code and there you are Shahida right just by changing a little bit of code so if you want to know what's FD cells dot rows on um, range, right? Do watch my another videos and and hope you learn something. Thanks for watching.